How much time do you spend in America these days? Uh, just a few weeks. We, uh, we're there maybe um, a few weeks in the summertime and then with family and friends and CBN and then we, we come back uh, for events like this for the NRB. It's great to be back to, the, to America. How long have you been living in Israel? Uh, since August of 2000. So we're coming up on 18 years uh, in August. And so we're, uh, it's a blessing to be there, a blessing to live there and kind of uh, be an eyewitness of Israel's prophecy unfolding. Without a question, Chris Mitchell's reporting from Israel is the most objective, the most realistic, the most factual, especially for Western audiences uh, from, from any country. What has happened to the international press there? Well, I think the international press may have their own biases of what they uh, want to say and what they, how they want to perceive and uh, present uh, Israel to the world. Uh, we try to try to be objective. We try to present the truth about Israel, and uh, usually the truth about Israel can be a very good story. Where can they? Where can people who don't happen to catch you on 700 Club? Where can they see your reports? They can see us on JerusalemDateline.com. We do a weekly show about what's happening in Jerusalem, Israel, and the Middle East. So that would be the easy JerusalemDateline.com, easiest place to find that. Do you get uh, comments, viewer comments? Yeah, we do. Yeah, uh, we get comments like yours that uh, they appreciate what we uh, what we report, how we report, and uh, it's seen actually in many places throughout Europe, uh, the Russia, the, the Far East, and uh, and America. How does it feel coming here and being recognized for you? It's a bit odd sometimes to be recognized. Uh, it happened the other day, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, some people from Finland had seen us. So uh, it's, it's a bit unusual circumstance, but I guess that's what happens when you're on television.